Hi, this video shows how to get started with service containers on the Cisco ISR 4000 series routers. This is a virtualization method that allows almost any app to be run inside Cisco routers with no impact to routing or any other function like VPN or application visibility and control. Service containers are the most efficient way to run full featured applications and branches. They are also easy to use. Typical applications need little to zero modifications in order to be deployable on routers. Service containers allow for applications and services to be scalable from the smallest of branches up to large enterprises entirely contained within the router and along with that comes all the benefits of reliability, dual supplies and PoE. Customer interest ranges from network monitoring to IoT and retail sensor apps as well as security virtual appliances for intrusion detection and prevention and also application acceleration and optimization. All these things are available today to deploy on the router using tools like Cisco Prime. It is also possible for anyone, including end customers and partners and system integrators, to create and run their own apps to be hosted inside the service containers. Here's how to get started. Take a 4300 or 4400 series router and confirm that there is at least 8 gigabytes of DRAM installed. The more that is installed, the more that is available for containers. Also, make sure that the router contains at least the same amount of flash. Here you can see that this 4331 router has space for MSAT at storage too. However, this is just one storage option, and in instead, if there is a free network interface module or NIM slot, then a NIM SSD can be used instead. Next, go to devnet at developer.cisco.com slash site slash kvm and scroll down to the sample code section and click on Docker. This provides access to a ready-built Ubuntu Linux service container .ova file that provides lots of space all ready for compiling or installing any desired app for Linux. Docker is already installed in this Ubuntu container. It is an option for those who wish to use it. Also, click on the developer guide link because it contains far more detail about service containers and it also has a full set of tutorial information needed to not, to not only just run a container but also to create one from scratch, step by step. Next, take the downloaded OVA file and copy it across onto the storage space in the ISR4000 router. The easiest way to do this on a lab router is just to use a flash memory stick, but in deployment you'd use your management platform. At the router console, configure virtual port group, which contains the IP address for the router side of the layer 2 connection to the service container. Also, configure the virtual service. You'll activate it later, and also the virtual port group is associated here as well. If desired, DHCP can be used to allow the container virtual machine to acqu acquire an address. So configure the DHCP pool in the usual manner if needed. Now you're ready to install, i.e. extract from the OVA and activate the container. And that's it. After a few minutes, you can check that the service is correctly running using the show virtual service command. Just like any server, there is a console connection and it can be accessed virtually. It will drop you into the Ubuntu Linux virtual machine. Also, you can press control C three times whenever you wish to exit back to the router. You can see that the virtual machine is a full desktop version of Ubuntu Linux. In this case, the long term support version 14. Applications can be installed using the usual apt-get Ubuntu Linux method or any other way you wish to get applications onto it. The Ubuntu container already contains compilers like GCC but also the Python interpreter is pre-installed too. There is no need to stick with this Ubuntu container if you wish you could also roll your own container using the information in the tutorial documentation on DevNet. I hope this short intro helped. Please do let me know if you need more information and it would also be interesting to hear about all the things people do with containers.